Hola, buenas tardes. Welcome to my channel, my beautiful people. Welcome back. It's so good to see you. I'm here with a little bit of tea, a little bit of planner tea. So if you're interested in hearing about the latest planner tea in my life, which is I'm going to be talking about my 2022-2023 planner stack, my planner lineup, my newest happy planner planner stack. If you're interested in hearing about my planner process, my planner journey, just keep on watching. So as always, it's your girl here, Daniela, with her planning paper crafting passion. And I have been wanting to do a little bit more of a chatty video with you all. I want to do like a planner talk series um, here on my channel where I just come on the camera and I do a little face-to-face -face chat with you all and talk about just the latest tea, the latest planner tea. And no, I am not talking about drama in the planner community, although I guess I wouldn't mind doing that, but I, honestly, I don't know that there is a lot of drama. I think there is. I feel like there is, but I'm just not super tuned into it. I'll like hear whispers here and there, whispers here and there, but this tea is going to be all about me. <laughs> so don't get it twisted. This is the tea that I am spilling the tea. I'm spilling the tea about myself and my planner life. So. Let's get into it. I just I just want to come onto the camera and just talk a little bit about planners and paper crafting and all that. You know, if you know, you know. If you're into the planning community, the paper crafting community, you know how fun it is to just talk about planners and paper craft and all that. And I have a bit of an exciting topic of discussion here today. I want to talk about my 2023 planner stack which 2023 is coming up we are finishing March we're moving on to April we are in the first days of spring and before you know it it's gonna be summer and then suddenly it's gonna be fall and then before you know it we're on our Christmas break so get ready get ready the year moves so fast so quickly <sighs> and 2023 planners are coming out. Happy Planner just released like a month ago their 2023 planners and those planners, the 18 month ones, start in 2022. They start in July of this year so within a few months we're gonna be able to get into all of our new planners so pause the video let me know if you picked up any new planners from the happy planner in this current spring release that they just released i did pick up a couple of things i picked up two sticker books on the website the day the collection dropped and then this past weekend i went to michael's and i checked out what they had there in store and i was so inspired let me tell you i was in michael's i was in the planner aisle i was so inspired by what they had out there on the floor that i felt ready to start my 2023 planner stack and so i picked up four planners to start you know start lining up my soldiers for war getting myself ready to be the best self i can possibly be and i like to use planners to motivate myself to inspire myself to um i use them as like brain dump journals i think like i totally am a planner babe like i they do it for me they do it for me. They have improved my life substantially. I think they're such a creative outlet. So anyways, can you tell I am inspired? But I have so much to talk about, about what I picked up for my planner stack. So let's just get into it. So first off, this baby right here. So I picked up a double coil planner. I think these are called double coil because they have like the coils in sets of two going up the spine. So I picked up one of these babies. I thought I was not going to pick it up at all ever. Like 
when they came out with their, oh no, they're called Twin Loop. Twin Loop or Double Loop. But when they came out with this style of planner, which you all know I'm a happy planner girl. I love the disc pound system. You know I was happy, like, you know how much I love the disc pound system. I use almost exclusively disc bound planners. So when Happy Planner came out with their twin loop planners, so these are the ones that you cannot switch the pages in and out of, like the disc bound system you can. So when they came out with these guys, I was like, cute but not for me because I need to be able to switch out my pages. I just love the disc bound so much for that. But then I saw this beauty right here with the saguaro and you know anything with a saguaro on it has my name written all over it this is like the sequel to their saguaro desert dream road trip and adventure planner that they came out with last year the one with the it was pink and it had the saguaro on the cover and it said adventure 08s that was my all-time favorite planner that they came out with and I was so sad that they didn't come out with something similar but then I saw that they came out with this which is basically that planner but it's on the twin loops it has the matte cover the matte like hard cover and it's more in like sunset uh color palette like the color palette throughout this planner is a little bit more warm it's more like oranges and like soft browns as opposed to like the pinks and the brights that the other one had last year and Saguaro National Park one of my all-time favorite national parks that I have ever been to I feel personally connected to Tucson Arizona to Saguaro National Park I love cactus they're so beautiful to me and I could not resist I was like well I guess we're gonna go into a twin loop for the next year so I picked this one up and it is just absolutely stunning. It's an 18 month calendar. It's really, really neutral. So we have just like the neutral calendar pages and I might actually insert like a flip through right now of what this calendar, I mean, what this um, planner looks like. So we have the cover page here, gorgeous, soft brown. The year to glance and the calendar pages are really neutral with just gray accents. And then the monthly overviews, this one starts in July, very similar to what they have going on in all the previous uh, 2023 planners where it has that really neutral overview page with just this large dot grid section and then um, a couple of boxes on the left. And here's the first um, divider for July. Oh my goodness, so gorgeous. It just gives me all the southwestern United States vibes. Mm -hmm. So I got that guy and yeah, um, it's going to be interesting um, to not be in the disc bound for this one. So um, I'm definitely going to consolidate the planners that I have. Currently I'm using 17 different planners and I think for next year or even starting in July, I actually honestly might move into this one for July because it's just so beautiful. I have to. But I think starting in July, I might consolidate a couple of my planners together. And because I cannot, you know, Franken plan with this, I can't combine multiple planners into this. I'm going to try to fit in a couple of the planners I'm using. I'm going to try to streamline them and put them into this planner. So this one is going to be my main work planner. It's going to be graduate school. It's going to be the two jobs that I work and it's going to be kind of everything that's work and business related um, is going to go into this planner. Anything that I get paid for is going to go into that planner. Anything that's for my professional development, my career development is going to go into that planner. So right now, I think I am going to, um, right now, I think I am going to fit in, let's see, 
four different planners like right now in my solar system of planners that I have I think four of those planners I'm going to streamline into this one planner I'm gonna do all my scientific research in here I'm gonna do um, both my part-time positions in higher education my teaching and administrative positions I'm gonna put in here I'm also gonna do my science communication work in here as well, cause that's kind of like tangentially re uh, related to like my professional development. And I'm also gonna do my current events planner in here as well, because I think staying on top of the news and being educated and informed really, um, in a ways it is, I mean, not only is it like good for you to know all that stuff and be informed and educated, but I think it honestly also does help me be like a better professional person. So I'm gonna put current event stuff in here as well. So four planners are gonna go into this guy. And then I also saw this planner at Michael's. This is a faith planner and it says, be strong in the Lord. And it looks like, it looks so beautiful. It reminds me a lot of, um, Rebecca Campbell's Starseed Oracle, I want to say. I'll insert a picture of it somewhere on the screen. But there's an Oracle deck um, that has this beautiful, like, soft pastel aesthetic that this Faith Planner really reminds me a lot of. It looks like, um, it almost looks like Yosemite like a Yosemite granite structure here with some roses and then some clouds. It's so ethereal and beautiful. And I was so moved by this planner. And again, I'll insert a flip through here. This thing is gorgeous. I am so inspired by it. And my plan for this faith planner is uh, that I want to, um, I want to Franken plan a couple of things into a classic sized planner. Like I want to start this faith planner in July and then I want to have a classic planner, which I Franken plan. That's going to have a lot of my, holistic wellness i want to call it i want to have my spirituality in, in there i want to have my um, wellness and like mental health i want to have my fitness and my budget yeah those are the four things that i want in this um faith planner so faith self-care fitness and budget so those are four things so i want to combine four different planners into one classic sized planner and I still have my fitness planner that I'm going to use through the end of the year, so I'm not going to get another one until I finish that one because I really like that one. I have my wellness planner, which I want to, um, that again, I still have that until the end of this year, so I'm going to continue to use that one. I'm going to switch into my faith planner um, in July because this thing is so gorgeous. I cannot resist it. And then, now we're getting to the exciting part. So... I told myself that I would never, ever get into a big, happy planner because I just felt that they were too big and I never have felt like motivated, inspired to get into a big, happy planner. I've never even looked twice at them in the stores, but I've been wanting to change things up and i saw these big happy planners and i was so inspired and i thought like why not try out a big happy planner so i picked up a big happy planner um i picked up two big happy planners i picked up this one which this is the blush in it the blush in it happy planner and i 
want to consolidate a couple of my planners because remember I'm using 17 different planners right now I'm hoping to consolidate a couple of them into here that's why I wanted a big happy planner because if I was like okay if I'm going to consolidate some planners I'm gonna need more space I'm hoping to consolidate six of my planners that I'm using currently into this one planner so I'm gonna consolidate my relationship planner my social life planner my personal memory keeper that's like my diary my creative journal my reading journal my Japanese journal and my YouTube planner I'm gonna put all of this into this big planner and it's gonna be like my fun planner so anything that's not related to work or to like wellness in some way um, or to household is going to go into this one so there's going to be six of them in this bad boy i'm going to consolidate and i also picked up this bad boy this is also a big happy planner and this is the um the seasonal happy planner and um the the outside cover is a little bit more like gardeny themed uh, but the but the dividers are really like seasonally themed so it's got an interesting like juxtaposition between like I wouldn't necessarily think this is a seasonal planner judging by the cover but um, the classic one that's really similar to this one has a seasonal cover it looks like a seasonal planner from the cover but the big one is like a gardening planner it looks like a gardening planner to me, but I think it's so cute. I loved this design. I love doodles like this. So I really was like so inspired by this. This is also an 18 month planner. It's a vertical planner. This thing is huge. And I'm gonna use this planner for three different things. Um, so I'm consolidating three of my current planners into this guy, which is why I wanted a big planner. So this is gonna be my household planner. It's going to be my household planner, my meal planner, and my garden planner right now. So those are three planners that currently I have separate in like three classic happy planners. And I feel like I want to try out like a big and I'm going to consolidate those three planners, um, which are all kind of like household related and home related. I'm going to consolidate them into this big happy planner. and. It's going to be interesting because I've always been like a dashboard person for household and I love it so much for household, but this one is a vertical and I didn't see like a big dashboard that I wanted. Um, so I went with the vertical. I mean, I can always make a vertical work, but so that's going to be interesting. And yeah, it might be better for me to play around with the vertical um because i'm going to be consolidating like gardening and meal prepping and stuff so yeah it might be better for me to work um with a vertical but we'll see we'll see we'll see how it goes but yeah so for my 2023 planner stack which these are all 18 month planners so these start in july these start in um four months basically even less we're almost done with March, so basically in three months, we'll, um, we'll be in July and I can start these planners. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to consolidate um, my current 17 planner solar system into probably, uh, so I have four here, like four of these here, but I'm also going to keep on with my self-care, fitness, and budget. So... Um, I have four and then adding those three. So I'll have seven, I'll have seven, but I want to Franken plan. I want to Franken plan four of them into one classic sized. So the other, the other um, planners, like obviously I cannot Franken plan this guy. So that's not going to be Franken planned. I'm just going to combine four of my current planners into this one. My household one, I'm going to combine three planners that I'm using right now for household meal prepping and gardening. I'm going to put them all into here. And I think I'm just going to leave it like this. And I'm going to leave it at home at my desk. 
because it's gonna be mostly like household stuff. I don't need to take it to work. I don't need to, you know, have it out and about. So I can just leave that one at my desk and I don't have to, you know, Franken plan it or anything. And then also I have this guy here, which is gonna combine six different um, of my current happy planner planets. It's gonna be my relationship, my social life, my personal journal, my Japanese workbook, my reading journal, and my um, For Lizard channel. That's all gonna go into this one. And this one is gonna just be like my hobbies and my fun um, planner. And it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how that goes because the reason why I um, why I have so many planners is because it was getting too chaotic to have everything combined together. And so it's been a real blessing to be able to like separate things out really nicely and compartmentalize things. The only like, uh, the only thing I don't like about having so many planners is that it does take, uh, a lot of time to like maintain all of that and also um it's kind of hard to like carry so many with you at once like i franken plan all those 17 planners so it's a little bit easier for me to carry them around like that but still they are a little hefty they're they're, they're big so i do have to you know um carry them around with me all the time and i loved having 17 planners and i think in July, we're going to come up to the year mark of me having at least like 15 or so planners. Um, and so it's been a great year. Like I have enjoyed my solar system. I have enjoyed thoroughly like creating such an extensive planner system. I've had so much fun, but I'm, I'm ready to try something different. I'm going to go for um, a completely new system which is, I think, how many did I say I was gonna have? Seven? I'm gonna go for seven, a seven planet solar system. One of them is gonna be disc bound and two of them are gonna be big happy planners. So I'm excited. I think that's the funnest part about creative planning is like the constant evolution of the planner system like for me you know everyone there's everyone talks about like the planner piece right where it's like oh when i reach planner piece but honestly like just just let go of that idea right it's an evolution it's a process um let there be growth let there be room for experimentation and i am someone who likes to change things up keep things fresh Although I am a Taurus, so sometimes I resist that like a little bit too much. Um, but in general, I really like new things and changing things up and trying out like new formats. I That's part of the fun. So I'm really, really inspired and looking forward to July. And I can start really um, getting into these planners. I'm gonna miss having so many planners. Um, it has been so much fun to have 17 different planners, but I think um, these planners are gonna be so much fun as well. Like the big ones, like these things are huge. So I, I'm gonna have so much fun filling up all that space. And, um, and the saguaro, the saguaro Ugh, planner, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. So this is the planner I currently use. Look at that. This is a classic size and she's chunky. She has like, I think I have eight different planners in here, but oh, I'm gonna miss having so many planners. But this thing is chunky and I'll take this with me in my backpack to work and she's kind of fat. So I can just take this guy to work and it'll be a lot you know, it'll save me a lot more room. <laughs> so that, that's gonna be nice about not having to carry this baby around too much with me. I'll enjoy having a little bit of a sleeker planner for a bit, but probably maybe, I don't know, maybe in 2024, I might, you know, go back to my 17 different planner solar system. We'll see, it's all about like growth and feeling, you know, feeling what you're doing. So. Okay, that's all I wanted to talk about. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. 
Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know what you're planning on doing for your um, 2023 planner stack. You know, planners are out and we can start working in our new planners in July. So definitely let me know if there's a planner that you picked up recently that you're really excited to get into for July. And uh, yeah, let me know what planner it is and what you're using it for. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.